How are you? I'm good. I'm great now. You know, Seth freaking Rollins is here. I'm here. Ooh, I look good. Dang. Yeah. Heck yeah. Look, look at, at us. the front facing yeah. camera. Oh, hello. So we can know how good we look. Right, nice. So, nice. Look. I didn't get my head slapped off, so. That's true. That was a, well, we could start there. We're at the WrestleMania 40 kickoff show where things just got a little uh, scrappy on stage. Uh, talk to me about what you just saw go down and your thoughts on it. Um, yeah, I pushed the, I pushed the rock. I shoved the rock. Uh, which, you know, he's a member of the board. So, like, I don't know if I'm going to get in trouble for that or not. Um, but uh, he deserved it, kind of. So, um, I mean, it's just gross. I just thought it was gross. I don't know. I thought it was gross. I thought it was, like, it just it was like wielding power in a way that didn't need to be, didn't need to happen. You know, I get it. You felt disrespected. Great. We've all felt disrespected. But, like, it felt to me like a Will Smith moment. You know what I mean? Like, that's what it felt like was a Will Smith moment. And, like, it just didn't need to happen. So, um, I, I'm pretty, uh, I'm, I'm pretty disgusted by it. You get that HR email. You could just show them the whole tape. They'll understand, you know. Yeah, I mean, if it goes to court, we'll figure it <laughs> out, right? Cross that bridge. Uh, I, I want to go back and first I want to get an update on the knee. How are you feeling? Knee is great, man. Good. Knee is Good. great. Really turned a corner. I think the PRP kicked in this week. Uh, okay. So that therapy and that rehab is going really well. I, I, got, I got no question that I'll be back in time for WrestleMania and, and hopefully much sooner. So when I watched that match with Jinder, was it a, I tried to find the moment, and it looked like it could have been the moonsault. Was it like a thing where you knew immediately the moment it happened? That is correct. It was the moonsault. It was an acute injury with the moonsault. I landed a little sideways uh, on the moonsault, and, uh, yeah, the knee just ain't supposed to have been that way. And so uh, I felt it. I felt the stretch. Didn't know exactly what it was, but luckily was able to get through the rest of the match. Um, yeah, I mean, look, it's not in our profession. That's just what you do, you know. Anybody else would have done the same thing. That's just how we're built. We're built different here in WWE. So I knew it right away. It was the moonsault. You will correct, but we're good. We're in a good place. You say that like it's easy, and you do make it look easy. But you have made this belt the workhorse title. You've been working your ass off week in and week out defending the title. I mean, how, where do you feel about the the bar? How how high do you think you have raised the bar for this belt, and and how? How far do you want to take it? Well, let's remember when when this title was first introduced, it was it was kind of laughed out of the building. You know, Paul Heyman, Roman Reigns tried to make fun of it, tried to call it the losers bracket title, all that nonsense. But that's just not true because Roman Reigns ain't never beat me. Last time we were in a match together, Royal Rumble a few years ago for his title, if I remember correctly. I was the winner of that match, and I know they want to erase that from history, but that's not the case. I won the match, and that goes with every single time I've been in the ring with Roman Reigns. So that loser's bracket stuff, eh, eh, don't fly. It's, it's baloney. Um, but my point is, this didn't exist a year ago. And from the beginning, it was looked at in a bad light. And what we have been able to do on Monday Night Raw with this title, it's available, it's around, it's accessible, there's not a glass ceiling. You can challenge for this title, and if you earn the right, I will give you that opportunity quick, right? You look at Braun Breaker, you look at Shinsuke, you look at Drew, you look at Finn, you look at Jay, you look at Sammy, Jinder Mahal, for crying out loud. I, I will give you a fight if you want it, and if you're better than me, please take the title from me and continue to raise it. It's incredible. It's a big reason why I think Monday Night Raw is in the incredible place that it's in. Thank you for your work week in and week out. Uh, as, as we continue this road to WrestleMania, Cody just chose Roman tonight on the stage. It seems some things are still left up in the air. What are you hoping to see happen in the next few months as we get to uh, get to April, get to Philadelphia? Well, we got to find ourselves a challenger for the World Heavyweight Championship. It was Cody's prerogative, whether Roman and Rock think that's the case or not. It was his prerogative to actually make a decision and say who he was going to choose. He decided that finishing his story uh, led him down the path toward Roman title I respect that but like I just said there are a litany of challengers on Monday night and Friday night who would love to get a crack at this title because this is the workhorse title this is the title that matters this is the title that makes the towns and so um, I can't wait to find out who it's gonna be okay so I've got to wrap it up with this one person who might be taking a crack at you in the near future is Captain America uh, can you say anything about what it was like to work with Marvel? What you know, what, what you kind of got to do there? What maybe you learned from that sort of environment? Um, I, I, I'm not allowed to say much, uh, but I, I will say uh, it's been an incredible experience yeah. so far, and I'm very, very much looking forward to uh, seeing what's to come. All right, Becky, we just watched what happened on the WrestleMania 40 kickoff show. That was wild. That was wild. That was wild. It was awesome. That was awesome, but wild. Okay, well, this isn't your first time on the road to WrestleMania, though. No, hell so no. Having... Hell no, my eighth. This is my eighth. Well, seventh, because I missed one. Okay, so seventh road to WrestleMania. That means you've done this before. You've, you've, been in the, you've been in the trenches. You've learned a lot about it. 
now that you're back doing it again, what kind of things have you learned about this part time of year to get ready for the the biggest weekend in wrestling? You just got re got to get ready for chaos. Yeah. Chaos. It's endurance. It's all about endurance. It's about how much you can do when you're not sleeping. How much coffee can you drink? How much? How can you get your food in? How can you get your family time in? How can you do anything? Um, with all the media obligations but you also have to be ready you have to be prepared you have to be centered it, it's uh it's a tricky balance yeah. it's a tricky juggling act but i think i've handled it pretty well thus far it's impressive and we the media appreciate you giving us some of the time oh, of course of course my pleasure Love just talking to the people <laughs> thank you uh and just now you kind of issued a challenge there to rhea ripley it looked like and that it would be a first time we ever saw you two scrapping in the ring uh what would a match like that mean to you For me, it is the chance to take that title from where it is right now to being the title that is the most talked about title in the company because we had, you know, we had a lot of lads scrapping about the main event, the main event of WrestleMania, the main event of WrestleMania. When I held that title, I was the main event of WrestleMania. And so, um, so that is what I want that it, it's an opportunity. It's an opportunity to prove to myself how good I am because somebody like Rhea Ripley is, she's a natural man. She, she came in here, they threw flowers at her feet, they gave her everything. When I came in, they were half kicking me out the door going, what are you doing holding me at arm's length? But I persevered and I made it and I became the first woman to win the main event of WrestleMania. And now Rhea Ripley's been throwing that title over her shoulder. She's been using it as a prop because even though she comes to work, a lot more than Roman Reigns. She don't be doing the work. She barely be defending that title. It's not represented on all the PLEs. It's not in the main event of Raw every week. No, you can see her there. You can see her in the main event most weeks, but she's just a side piece. And I don't like that. That is not how I need my title to be represented. It's time to make a statement. It's time, yeah. it's time to make a change. It's yeah. time to make a change. Time to make a change. Well, listen, I, I said time to make a statement. You talk the talk and you walk the walk. You have gone against the best of the best in the history of women's wrestling. And I mean, I was I was in the front row for the Trish Stratus cage match, which was just inc what an incredible match. Is there anything left on the bucket list for you looking ahead? Well, First things first, well, we, just about we got Elimination <laughs> Chamber coming oh, up. Yeah, we got Elimination right. Chamber. I've never been in Elimination yeah. Chamber. So there's a first time for everything. First time in Elimination Chamber. First time I'm going to win the Elimination Chamber. We'll be watching. I look Thanks forward to it. Thank you. <laughs> Rio, we are officially on the road to WrestleMania. This is very exciting. But first, you're going home. Yes. Uh, I want to hear about, I would say last year, the best crowd was Puerto Rico. Like mm -hmm. that crowd was insane. Oh, yeah. How do you think... Australia is going to compare and what is that going to do for you does that add pressure does it add excitement like what does that do for you when you're going out there in the ring it definitely does add a bit of pressure um, definitely adds excitement a hundred percent being there for Puerto Rico and seeing the standing ovation that Zelina Vega got um, it nearly brought a tear to my eye but I refused to do that for her because I uh, she's a little pretzel bite and I just refused but it was really cool <laughs> she's my little pretzel bite you know but it was special to hear <laughs> I got him I got him good he's, I, he's broken I have no, I have no comment I have nothing. <laughs> so you already lived up to it, <laughs> yeah, there it is. But, uh, but yeah I don't know I feel like Australia is gonna be my Puerto Rico you know I feel like gonna awesome. they're gonna be loud it's gonna be my Wrestlemania yeah. before Wrestlemania and I'm excited to hear it so I'm excited to go home. That's awesome. I'm excited for you. And the evolution of Rhea Ripley, uh, like you just everything you do, how you carry yourself, how you present yourself over the past few years has been incredible. It's been incredibly well received. I bet that's really exciting for you. Have you had a chance to kind of bring this version of yourself to home this way? No, I haven't. So what does that mean to you? Oh, it means the world. Yeah. It really does. The last time I got to go to Australia, well, last time I was living in Australia and I got to compete was for Riot City Wrestling which is my home promotion on the Indies so I haven't competed in Australia for seven years wow. yeah it's it's absolutely wild so to be able to come back home for a PLE for WWE be the women's world champion and have my face on the cover and have motionless in white as the theme song everything is just so perfect to me I'm so excited to come home like I don't even know how to put it into words how excited I am. Like my family's gonna be there, my friends are gonna be there. It's gonna be loud, rowdy. I know that you Australians are gonna be loud and rowdy, right? Yeah? Oh, yeah. 
damn straight. Because what do we want? We want WWE to come back more often. So be loud and be rowdy, okay? I want to come home, okay? <laughs> more time at home, awesome. And okay, so just now on the road to WrestleMania kickoff, Becky Lynch came out there, started, you know, doing her thing out there with you. Uh, that's a match you have never had before, you and Becky. So how exciting is it to get an opportunity to get in there with somebody like Becky for the first time? Yeah, so like we had a match in NXT, right? But we didn't have a winner. Because it got DQ'd because Shayna Baszler and her goons uh, decided to come out and ruin that opportunity for me. So to be able to possibly step in the ring with Becky again and it be at WrestleMania 40 if, you know, she ends up pulling off the Elimination Chamber and proving herself to Mami, which she hasn't done yet. Um, I feel like it's going to be exciting. I'm, I'm pumped for it if it does happen. Um, it's going to be a new challenge for me, something that's fresh. Mm -hmm. Obviously, I've had my matches with Charlotte. I've had matches with Bianca, I've had matches with Liv, but no one's really seen Rhea Ripley and Becky Lynch. No, no one's seen the man and mommy, especially at the caliber that we're at right now. Yeah. So I think it's going to be very exciting if that is what gets set in stone. I'm ready to buy my tickets. And I want to go back to last year's WrestleMania to end it with this. You and Charlotte had what many consider to be match of the year. So coming off the heels of that, going back to WrestleMania, how do you like look at raising the bar? I mean, it's going to be hard. Yeah. <laughs> but I think you could do it. Yeah, I think yeah. so too. You know, obviously, Charlotte and I, we had our backgrounds. Uh, yeah. Every time we step in the ring, we <laughs> set out to absolutely destroy each other. Yeah. Um, and it's always a good watch, and it always feels good out there because I love getting hit. I love feeling the brutality and dishing the brutality. So I think WrestleMania 40, whoever my challenger is, if it's Liv Morgan, Becky Lynch, Bianca Belair, Raquel Rodriguez, I don't care. Whoever it is, it's going to be hard to follow, but at the end of the day, mommy's always on top and mommy's always learning and, and getting better and better each and every time I step through those ropes, so I think we could do it. Jade, welcome to the road to WrestleMania. This is yeah. your first time doing this sort of year in this way. Uh, what's the welcome to this, you know, this time of year with the WWE like for you? It's great. Like I said, I've been saying it all night on the carpet. I've been feeling warm. Everybody's so warm and welcoming and wants to see me succeed. And that fan base, they love me. Yes. They love me and they cannot wait to see what's next. And I'm excited to show them. Of course. Now, it's been really fun to watch uh, your introduction to the WWE universe. You were treated like a superstar from the jump before you even were brought up. Of Let's course. just like redefine that right now. Treated right. like the superstar that you are Perfect. from the jump. Before you were ever even in front, in front of a crowd, yeah. we, we would see you on the screen arriving at the arena and the crowd would go nuts. So then you finally get to make the entrance at Royal Rumble. Yeah. So talk to me about that first moment when you got to walk out there at Tropicana and see everybody go nuts. Um, I was just so focused in, in the zone. You know, I was just like, I'm going to go in here and beat this girl's butt right now. Like, that's where I was. But I looked around and, and I did previous interviews about how do you feel right now? And it wasn't, I was never nervous. I was more focused on how are these people going to respond to me? Are they going to like me? Are they going to dislike me? Do they Are they familiar with me? Um, it was nothing but love. The feeling was electrifying. Like, I was ready to just take on the universe. And then, of course, straight it to Nia Jax. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> who? I, I heard that name again. Like, who? Like, I'm Jade Cargill. Like, right. I take down anybody in my way. And she just happened to be standing tall in that ring. And if anything, these women in this locker room should be so thankful that I helped them out because she was throwing them left and right like rag dolls. I came in there, eliminated, eliminated Naya on my own and with the strength of Jade Cargill. So let's just... Yeah, so tell me what that... that you, you sent a message there. What would you say that message was? Don't mess with me. Let's go. You step Let's up, go. you'll get stumped out. Okay, so when you come to a new promotion, when you come to WWE, what sort of things do you have to change at all? Is it Do you get to elevate things? Do you have to kind of learn some new rules? Yeah, um, I had to learn, like, redefine certain things that they do that's mm -hmm. different. Um, obviously, I was at, like, more of a PG-13 company, mm -hmm. so now I have to redefine the whole PG thing, which is fine. I have a kid. It's yeah. easy. Um, nothing really. Nothing really. They want me to be myself. If it's not broke, don't fix it. Exactly. Okay, yeah. so my last question for you. I'm glad I've caught you at the beginning of your WWE journey. I hope yeah. to talk to you many years down the road. And, and I, when, I, when we talk there, I want to say to you, what do you think, what, do you, what is your legacy, what do you take away from your time at WWE? If you could predict what that will be, what do you hope to make out of with your WWE career here just at the beginning? Just to inspire little girls and boys out there that they can do anything they put their minds to, regardless if you're 27 and starting out wrestling like I did, and I had a 
a background of child psychology. I was a basketball player. I had not done that in a while before I got into it. But if you put your mind to it and you tell yourself you can do it and your body is up to it, mm -hmm. you can do it. You can do literally any and everything that you put your mind to. I love that answer. Thank you. I'm 32. I have my first wrestling match next weekend. Ooh, are you ready for that? I've been training for a year. Oh, oh you got it. You, you got can it. never be, like, I feel like there's never, like, an I'm ready moment. Can if I that tell makes you? Sense. My first wrestling match ever was on live TV with Cody and Shaq. That was my first yeah. match ever on live TV. When I tell you, I literally was like, they're going to get what they get. They're going to get what they get. I'm going to yeah. go out there. I've been busting my butt. Know that you got it. I already envision you being on top and killing and kicking some butt. You got this. Yeah. Jade, you're a legend. Thank you so much for stopping Thank to you. talk. Congratulations. I appreciate Enjoy that.